You're welcome back. Now, how would you feel if you missed an opportunity because you didn't reply an email? And on the other hand, it must be disappointing to send an email and wait on a reply for weeks only to find out that person was on leave or unable to access their inbox. Today, we have a solution for you because with a few simple steps, you can make sure you never leave any email unanswered unless, of course, you want to ignore that person or organization. Kobe Nkuma is here with Tech Talk. Today we'll focus on automatic email response. Kobe, welcome. Hi, thank you. I'm very excited to learn about this thing today because it's something mm -hmm. that I, I have a problem with. So sure. uh, walk us through it. How do we set this thing up? Well, um, for every phone, there's a, for every service that you're subscribed to, there's a way to do it. So some people use iCloud Mail, some people use Gmail, some people use Yahoo. Each one has its you know, unique way of doing it. So the whole solution, the, the thing the way it's described is called a vacation responder. Mm. So you're going on vacation and you want to tell people that, hey, I won't be available till set and set date. And it has to be automatic. You know, so the moment an email comes, it automatically replies. And then when you are, your vacation is done, it automatically turns off. Mm. Yes. So that's the vacation responder. Wow. So would you be informed in any way that these number of replies were sent when yes. you come back? Yes, you will get a you'll you will see the mail to it still comes to you. Okay. So you can still access it, but maybe you just don't want to respond to them mm. at that time because you are out of office. Mm. You want to enjoy your vacation yeah. on the beach somewhere in Macau or Hawaii, you know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I like the sound of that. Tell yeah. me, uh, so tell us about how it works. So. Right, so if you're using, say, iCloud, uh, let's say your email is you at iCloud.com, you, you log on to iCloud.com, and then you go to the settings, yes, as you can see on the screen, you go to the settings, and you go to preferences. Under preferences, you see automatic reply to messages when they are received. And when you go there, you set the automatic reply that you want to set. So you want it to say, say, um, what do you call it? I'm out of office. I'll be back on the 17th. Mm. Or you can call this person. So you leave a message there. Then we have what you can do in the Gmail app, which most people use. A lot of people use Gmail. A lot of people use their corporate mails, which even run on the Gmail server. So, yeah. And then you have it configured on your phone. You can do this also on your phone. Okay. So when you open your Gmail application and you go to the settings icon, which is a gear icon in the top right corner yeah so as we can see on as the you can screen, see on the screen circled in red there. yes and then on the android phones you hit a three bar icon on okay, the top let, let's do on the screen first sure. and then we'll, we'll look at our phones right so you go to that gear icon and then you'll see what well, we you see the vacation responder under the settings mm. it's at the bottom so when yeah. you go to the vacation responder you turn it on and then you put your start and end date and then you type your auto email subject and message so the subject of the message, for instance, I am out of office, and then the, the details of the message that you want to put in there, the message itself. Then you can also toggle the send a response only to people in your contacts. So maybe you don't yeah. want people who are not in your contacts to get that message. Mm. They can get that too. And then, yeah, so you tap save when you're done, and then that's it. Mm. So that's for Gmail on the phone, and then this is Gmail on the PC, where you go to the gear icon again, go to settings, circled in red, and then you get to do the same as we said. You set the, the first day of your vacation and then the last day. Remember to check the vacation responder on. And then you put the subject of your message. I am out of office or I am on holiday or I am on sick leave. Mm. And then you put the details in the, in the message below. Then you can do this also for Outlook. For those using Outlook, if, if your email address is you at outlook.com, once again, the gear icon, and then you'll see automatic replies. Once you click on automatic replies, then it gives you the option of setting your automatic replies. So you set the date again, and then you apply, and then you send automatic replies. So you have to activate it, mm. and then you hit OK. Mm. Yeah. Right, so it, it looks like I see the pattern coming in where you yes. just go to settings. It's always in the settings. Okay, so automatic reply or vacation, vacation responder. responder. Yes. Mm, mm, mm. So it can also be used for a variety of things. Maybe it's not just vacation. Maybe you want to give an automatic reply to certain people from a certain department. Like you always get a lot of emails and are able to apply all of them. So uh, a template. 
noted, received. So anytime you get an email or sends received, so just alert the person that you've received the email. Mm -hmm. So that's an automatic reply. Some applications allow you to customize it, you know, with rules. Say, if I get an email from such and such a person, send this reply. If I get an email from such and such a person, send this reply. So yeah, it's mm -hmm. all complicated. It's not complicated. It's very simple like that. Okay. So um, apart from this, what are some of the trends that you think we should know that we could be looking at on Tech Talk next week? On, well, I like to keep it a surprise so people anticipate, but I'll just say I have a few tricks for people on how to use your computer safely. Mm. Even with your antivirus, a lot of people still end up infecting themselves. Mm. People think, oh, I have an antivirus. So it's like, you know, you're, going, you're driving with your seatbelt on, but you're doing 220 kilometers per hour. Okay. It's risky. You can still die, even though you are... You have all the, yeah. uh, you know, the safety measures in place. I want to know about that. For, for a lot of people, I know an antivirus is just a formality. It's so, just a formality. I mean, the rest is, is, is down to us. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much, Kobe Nkuma, for that tech talk. Sure. And I, I hope next week you'll be teaching me how to get a laptop like that. That's my tech talk. <laughs> I want to get a laptop sure, anyway. like that one. I will. It's a beast. It even has aliens written on it. Anyway. <laughs>